right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. Like, subscribe, and share, and thank you guys for watching the videos. Um, today is April 1st, 2019, the month of wealth. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's just get started with the um, Iraq report here. Uh, I did go on Twitter, and I did ask Foot Forward, because I was just wondering about it before I came on to do this video. I I was wondering about it. I saw Mr. Brando's um, tweet about, uh, you know, keep up the good work and don't let people take what you have achieved and things like that. So, I, and I didn't, I haven't liked it yet, so I need to like that post. Thank you so much, sir. Um, and everybody else that, of course, uh, the Eyes Open Media and the 365 crew that keep me going because I could easily turn this crap off and, and just, and literally trade cryptocurrencies all day long and, and that would be my life. You know, all you need is one good big trade, one double a month. That's all you need in cryptos to literally uh, have a good life. So, uh, and, you know, I, I could do that and just walk away and, you know, what well, people, you know, saying nice things always keeps you going and keeps you thriving. Um, okay, so that being said, I said here ought uh, to foot forward because I don't have an answer. And uh, I said, uh, well, I missed, I, I was supposed to say was, I was wondering, but I said why was wondering. I mean, I don't know why, why, maybe I rushed because I was supposed to, I was going to be doing this report and I, had, and I wanted to make sure I was on time for the report. So I put why was wondering, did the father tell you the season of the prophetic boom? It should have been, I was wondering, okay? Um, so let me actually see if I can correct this. I know you can on on twi Twitter, but if no one has liked this, I'm gonna correct it because this is just bad. <laughs> let me let me let me see if anybody has. Uh... Okay, no. So he already replied, not yet. Okay. So yeah, I can't correct it. Okay, so foot forward. If you're watching this, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna correct that. Why was wondering? Oh my God. Okay, I was wondering, and he says not yet. Okay, so we don't know the season. Okay, uh, of the prophetic boom. Okay, I did ask Prophet Shirley, and she, you know, and she told me that it, it was incoming. Okay, so then, uh, and that's what I got. Okay, so I got that from her. It was incoming. Okay, and so we don't know what that means. Okay, that could mean anything, right? Um, so you know, when, when things are incoming, it could be three months, six months, whatever, but it's coming, right? So at least we know it's coming, right? And uh, so yeah, we don't know the season, and I'm, I'm hoping it's the spring, I'm hoping it's the spring season, but we just we don't know, we don't know the season that we knew the season, it was set up very, very uh, beneficial to, for us as well. Um, but that's why it's a prophetic boom. That's why it's going to be a shocker, right? It's going to shock because people are not going to be per uh, expecting it. And then all of a sudden, boom, there it is. Okay. So, uh, I did do this video on currency 365 today. So about the, uh, about this uh, topic about the uh, cabinet. So if you want to, you know, watch this in detail about the cabinet members, go to Currency365 Modern Channel and, and watch it over there because I went intensively with this. But we, um, actually, it wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. It was a new one. It's a brand new one. We talked about this one yesterday. It was a brand new one of people outside of Sauter's camp um, that, you know, the corrupt, basically the corrupt and the Iranian back puppets saying something different than this. Okay, so I discussed that today on Currency 365. You can check that out. And uh, that one we, we just saw, we, we talked about that one yesterday. Okay, so this one says here that Brazani seeks, uh, speaks to the U.S. delegations for a serious effort to accelerate the formation of the new government. Okay, once again, it says Brazani speaks to a U.S. delegation for a serious effort to accelerate the formation of the new government. Okay, now I'm not sure if he means the new government of Kurdistan or the new government of Baghdad, because there's two different governments, right? Uh, let me see if we can get any type of clarity on that. It says it's a pleasure to visit the region. Okay, I don't, we don't care about that. Uh, he says uh, large numbers of displaced persons and the refugees fleeing the war. Okay, they're still talking about this war stuff that's been over since 2017. Like, come on, you know what I mean? 
Um, but what government is he talking about? It says U.S. delegations expressed the concerns that the displaced people did not return to their areas because of the lack of security. No, they didn't. They 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 came back to Iraq, but they had nothing to come back to. And because Iraq government has delayed the um the uh, the reform and construction project, the citizens have nowhere to go because they can't. They don't have the homes. They don't have any homes. Their roads are damaged. Their stores are damaged. So when they came back, everybody thought, and we all thought in the Nanao community, that, okay, they're coming back, Musul's done, you've defeated Dosh, now lift your value, give the people purchasing power, give them their oil revenues, so they can be, and then bring in and the world to do reconstruction in, a, in, in your country. That, sound, that all sounds like common sense, but that's not what happened because we have corrupt people running the government and they said, nah, the citizens are gonna live in rubbles and 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 destruction and we're going to delay the reconstruction project, even though we're gonna talk about it all the time, but we're not gonna do anything about it. And the citizens are gonna have nowhere to go. They're gonna have nowhere to go and because we refuse to do the reconstruction project because if we do the reconstruction project, we know that we have to give purchasing power and free capital flow to the IQD. Oh, man. And yet the world just sits there and says, why hasn't Iraq done their reconstruction project that everybody is giving them the green light to do? And we saw that the, um, the EU, uh, the European Union, just gave them the green light. The Speaker of the House is in Washington, D.C., getting the green light from, the, from the Washington, D.C., America. And yet... They have no plans on doing reconstruction. <laughs> they have no plans on doing the reconstruction. They even formed a committee for the for reform and reconstruction. Have we seen any reforms yet? Have we seen any since they since they've done that alliance? We have no reforms and no reconstruction. What is the what is the committee good for? At least the anti-corruption committee has busted and arrested people. Like the reform and reconstruction project is led by uh, Hakeem, and we haven't seen anything from that alliance. So they haven't done anything. We have no reforms. We have no money, no oil revenues back to the citizens, no purchasing power, no nothing. We have nothing, no reconstruction. It's, re it's, a, it's a joke. It's a joke. They keep talking about it, but they refuse to do it. Okay? So it's just it's sad, man. Uh, Babylon uh, disrupts the official day of tomorrow to commemorate another holiday. My God, how many freaking holidays do these people have? My gosh, I mean, this is embarrassing. Okay, uh, yeah, they're not gonna do anything tomorrow. I mean, they haven't done anything all year, but so they're not gonna do anything tomorrow and because of a ho another holiday. So they, they've had like 19 holidays and we're, we're, we're April 1st. They've had 19, like 19 holidays and they've had nine weeks off, uh, at least nine weeks off, might have been 10 weeks off. And we were only in April, so we only had three months. So I mean, golly, how many how many weeks are in three months? You know what I mean? And like they've literally taken the whole year off so far, and uh, I don't think they plan on stopping either. I think they plan on continuing to take all a lot more months, right, and a lot more days off, and uh, so that's why Sauter behind the scenes is uh, was making reform plans to remove Abdul Mahdi, right? And that's why Iran says, Sauter and Abadi have have uh, rejected us and they have betrayed us, right? There ain't no coming back from that. When Iran says something like that, we're about to see it, what they, what they mean, right? We're about to see it, right? Because they're telling us what's about to happen. So we're about to see it, right? So something is gonna come out of nowhere. It's gonna, it's gonna shock us all. It's gonna come out of nowhere. It's gonna come out of nowhere and whatever that and whatever I ran knows is about to come out. I, you know what I mean? And we don't know when that's gonna happen. I like Tuesday nights into Wednesdays. <laughs> you know, uh, I'll even take Thursdays as well. But Tuesdays and Thursdays and Wednesdays are my favorite time for big big events and big news. So, but um, yeah, if if I'm Sauter and I heard what I heard today about the continuation that that the that the uh, cabinet members. They have no plans on getting the cabinet members done. It'll, they're going to push it out for weeks. I'm making my move Tuesday night. Tuesday night, 
Wednesday, I'm making my move against uh, Abdul Mahdi. I just got to. I, I can't allow the country to sit here and rot until October, and then his year is up, and then I say, get out. Your year is up. I'm put, I'm bringing back Abdul Mahdi. I can, uh, I'm bringing back a body. I can do it right now. I can do it right now, okay? And so, and that will disrupt the elites, right? Because the elites have this thing being pushed out to June, July, August, September, October, uh, you know what I mean? And so if, if Sauter can get this done and sneak attack at, during the night, uh, on a Tuesday night, Wednesday, you know what I mean? Uh, Wednesday night, Tuesday night, whenever it is, and get this guy out of the position and get uh, a body back in, okay, with the four technocrats, you know, and and, and get the guy. I, I, look, it's gonna be an uproar. I mean, I mean, not from the citizens because the citizens don't see, haven't seen anything with Abdul Mahdi, but it's gonna be an uproar with Iran. That that new terrorist group might come out. That's how mad they would they, they would be if this if this happened, right? That new terrorist group might come out. Um, Maliki's gonna go completely nuts. So um, you know there there might be all types of terrorist attacks in Iraq, in Iraq as well. So uh, we got to keep that in mind that if he does this, it's gonna it's gonna create uh, there's gonna be a reaction to it. Okay, um, so we have to, you know, just know that that's, that could be happening, but we are looking for a climax, aren't we? <laughs> um, okay, it says uh, Daily Best, Maliki and his sons uh, dealt with companies bribe uh, senior officials to win extraordinary contracts. We've heard, we've already seen this before, so I'm not sure why we're hearing about this again. Um, it was supposed to go to trial or Maliki was actually counter suing uh, because of this as well. So Maliki, I remember Maliki putting in a counter suit uh, for defamation and I mean, my God, his name is already uh, is already part of the corrupt name. So I'm not sure why he's even talking about defamation and and you know you you're putting my name out there and making me look bad, dude. You've already stolen 500 billion dollars from your own country. I mean, come on now, <laughs> like your name's not gonna get any worse. Uh, you know, um, okay. So, oh yeah. So it says here in, in an investigation report published in February. See, see there it was. So we've already talked about this before. Back in I, well, I'm not sure if it was February. I think it was. Uh, was it February or? I guess it was maybe, but it might have been early February. I thought it was like late January. Okay, so early, maybe early February. The daily. Um, the Daily Best reported that former Prime Minister Maliki and his son-in-law dealt with a, a company that played a role in bribes to win U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, security contracts. Okay, just like we, you know, just like in America, where you have these, uh, you know, these Hollywood people uh, paying to get their their kids into these Ivy League schools and all these other top name schools. So and so when you're when your kid um, gets a rejection letter from USC, you can thank the Hollywood people who paid their way in and actually didn't do it the right way, right? So it's not it wasn't your kid that you know that 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 was rejected. It was because they they paid their way in and took up all the spots. And so your kid didn't have a spot. Okay, because they he he your kid didn't pay its way in. You didn't you didn't fork up three hundred thousand dollars to get to go to USC, right? So this you know it is what it is. So same thing here. For so I'm uh, Maliki getting all these U.S. Uh, security contracts, right, and having his own military and has has his own army and stuff. He's bribing these people and get well allegedly right bribing these people to get these contracts. Okay. So he's doing it. The, he's not doing it the right way. So it says the U.S. Uh, Department of Justice is investigating the U.S. military uh, contracting firms. Okay, and uh, so it makes sure it has played a role in bribing Iraqi officials in returning uh, for winning extraordinary contracts. Uh, but even uh, FBI officials may not really understand the depths of corruption expected. The paper said, yeah, yeah, I don't think America in a whole, I don't think American Congress as a whole knows the, the depths of corruption that has gone on in Iraq. I just don't think that, I don't think some of them care either, you know what I mean? Um, especially the, 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 the liberals, right? A lot of them don't care. A lot of them are part of it. A lot of them are the reason why I, Maliki was able to do what he, he did, right? Well, you know, Maliki was able to do the things he did because 
You know, he's literally spit in the face of Barack Obama, right? Because <laughs> here we go. We put we put Maliki in there. Maliki promises the herbal agreement, and then he spits in the face of of America and the world, and said, "What are you gonna do about it?" And Obama doesn't do nothing about it. He allows Maliki to turn his back on on the Kurdistan region, right? And with the oil agreement. Then he, then he, then he allows and other world leaders. He allows them to, to uh, you know, punish the CBI governor, Dr. Shabibi, for absolutely nothing, and be able to give him harsh punishment in prison. I mean, you, I've, you've never seen a central bank governor dealt like that ever, and that I know of. The man was doing hard prison sentence. And hard time in prison, like for nothing, for a made up story that Maliki created. And everybody knew it was false. <laughs> like, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, and they allowed him to stay in that prison for a long time. Right. So just because he didn't just because Maliki didn't want to the, the revaluation. Now, maybe about maybe Obama also didn't want the revaluation. So he didn't have a problem with it. Okay, he didn't want the reset either. Okay, maybe maybe that's what happened. These world leaders, these corrupt world leaders, didn't want the reset to happen as well, so they allowed it to happen, and they didn't have any problem with Maliki punishing Dr. Shabibi from trying to literally, uh, you know, start the reset by revaluing the Iraqi dinar. And you can see how, what he's holding up. Yeah, you know, he's holding up the hand signs, the same hand signs that all of these. Uh, all those pictures of uh, of so-called Christ is holding up. Same thing with the with the uh, Baphomet holds up, right? Matter of fact, let me let me let me get a picture for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's a picture of it. Okay, so you can see these graven images and these pictures of uh, of quote unquote Jesus Christ, right? <laughs> That's why we use his real name, Yeshua. And because of, of this as well, but uh, you can see the hand signal here, the same hand signal that that Maliki was holding up, the same one here for the popes. The popes hold up the same hand signals. These uh, graven, you know, images of Christ that are we we all know that are not a real the, the real image of Christ, holding up the Baphomet, holding up the same. Why would the Baphomet goat head, you know, Satan? Uh, you know, hold up the same symbol. Why would the Pope want to hold up the same symbol as as the Baphomet? Why would why would somebody uh, put the same uh, hold up the same symbol for 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 you know Jesus Christ as, as the Baphomet? Why is Maliki holding up the same symbol? <laughs> this is why religion is very dangerous. Number for first of all. First of all, the, your own Bible says not to not to uh, create graven images and, and pictures, right? So that's already a, so you're already blaspheming uh, the the Father and be, for, for make, creating uh, paintings of, of what Christ you think is already blaspheming right there. No graven images. Stop wearing crosses, um, chains. Stop with the statues. Stop with the um, all these graven images that your Bible tells you clearly not to do right i was a victim of that as well uh wearing uh you know cross chains and all that stuff and, and i'm thinking to myself what am i doing the my, the own word the, the word of god says not to wear that stuff and, and and not to not to put graven images and not to create graven images uh of of the father the son and the holy spirit so the fact that we have people have statues and pictures and all all that stuff is a blasphemy of to to, to God uh, to the Father right to the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Anyways, it says it right in your word. So, anyways, you know, but but look, Maliki's holding up that same symbol right there. <laughs> so, yep, there it is, right. Now I don't know what the symbol means. I, I I'm pretty sure I'm, uh, if Baphomet is holding it up, then it's a worship to Satan at some point. You know what I'm saying? Like like I don't know what it really means, but it, it's not a good sign. It's definitely not a sign of to uh, of goodness or positivity. <laughs> okay, but he's holding it up as well. And I thought that was interesting. Um, I was like, wow. Cause I've seen that sign before. I said, I've seen that sign before. That's on the Baphomet. Even even the popes have 
throwing up this sign. Even even the uh, Christ images, uh, you know what I mean? Or, or uh, uh, Mr. Bozier or, or whatever his name is, right? Uh, I don't know. It's not. It's not. A, it's not. A, let's just say it's not a positive sign. <laughs> the Baphomet's holding it up as well. Okay, so let's wrap it up here. And it says, uh, "Victory is preparing to end the existence of the rule of law across." Okay, well, it says here that the coalition of a body uh, stirring a file against Maliki to end his chances to obtain the post of vice president of the republic. I'll talk about this on Currency Three Sixty Five with the uh, fiat update. So stand by with that on Currency Three Sixty Five. All right, so I think that's it. We're 20 minutes in. Let me wrap it up here. Yesterday's video, we talked about the, uh, you know, the green zone opening 24 hours. I haven't heard anything new about the green zone. So it looks like the green zone is still open for 24 hours a day, which is good. But we, we need the cabinet members or we need solder to get in there and uh, hopefully sometime this week get in there and get that guy out <laughs> get these people out uh do a sneak attack get them out and then replace them with a body a body doing a lot of talking as well so it looks like he's trying to he's about to make his move so we'll see we'll see what happens talk to you guys later eyes open check me out on currency 365 uh for the fiat report we'll talk about this peace out